Hello, Ellie here from Thankful Flow Yoga. Thank you so much for joining me for another practice. Today we are doing a uh, sort of twisty vinyasa style flow. Um, so there will be some kind of fun and dynamic transitions throughout the practice. Um, and the aim of this practice is to really kind of stretch, twist, and leave us feeling that sense of connection between our body and mind and our awareness by the end of the class, so hopefully feeling nice and balanced and restored as well by the end of this practice. So we're going to start this class by lying down. So find your way into your lying position and we'll take a few moments to ground into the practice. So either close your eyes or soften your gaze. And feel free to take up a little bit of space maybe letting the arms and the legs come out to the side perhaps the hands could be coming to the belly resting on the belly and find the connection between your hands and this part of your body and becoming aware of your inhales and your exhales start to notice the parts of the body moving with your breath Notice whether you can feel the belly expanding and softening back in as you breathe. Notice where your body is connected to the ground. Notice where you are. Noticing how you're feeling. Scanning into the body, noticing how your body feels in a physical sense today. Maybe also observing how you're feeling mentally, emotionally. Seeing if you can really be with everything. Be with everything inwards and outwards. I'm beginning to open the eyes back up when you're ready. And we'll take the knees in towards the chest, take a big hug and a couple of rocks from side to side. Notice which parts of the body rock against the ground and lift away. And coming to stillness in your hug, see if you can drop your head over to the right. So rolling it over, noticing then as you start to roll it over to the other side where the back of the head connects to the ground. Seeing how this neck area feels and the shoulders. And then bringing your head back to something that feels like neutral, release the legs and point the feet up to the ceiling, lift the arms up. And we're gonna shake out the feet and the hands a little bit. Just getting a little bit of energy moving. And you could think of this as kind of shaking off anything that is not needed here, anything that came before this practice. Shaking that off now. And then take your hands to the backs of the thighs or you can let them drop down to the ground, whatever feels right for you and start to take some rocks back and forth. So we're building up a little bit of momentum. So take a few of these and then we're gonna rock up to seated. And as you come up, I want you to see if you can bend your right leg and have the left leg lengthen. And we're actually gonna step this right foot to the outside of the left leg. So we're in um, almost kind of coming towards a half lord of the fish position with the legs, Ardha Matsi and Dresna. From here, right hand's gonna ground behind. Inhale, create some space, lift through the chest. And as you exhale, twisting to the right, left arm hugs the right knee. Take an inhale here, crown of the head reaches upwards. And as you exhale, find some softness. One more of those breaths. Inhale, find space and exhale, soften. See if you can make these movements kind of blend into each other. So we're unraveling from the twist, coming back to center and then rock yourself back, 
Can you switch over the legs as you come back up? So left leg's bent and we've stepped it over to the outside of the right thigh. And then we're rotating around to the left to find that twist. Right arm hugs the left knee. Take an inhale here, create space. And as you exhale, soften. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, softening. Begin to unravel, take a rock back, switch the legs over. So we're coming back to the other side, right legs hooked over the left. Rotate to the right, find your twist. Unravel, rock back, <laughs> switch the legs over again. Then we're rotating to the left, finding that twist. So we're going to be coming back to this sequence a few times in the practice. So rocking back once more and starting to maybe feel some of that energy building now. So right leg's over the top of the left, twisting to the right. An option to add in here now, maybe this right leg could start to lengthen and the left hand could find possibly the outside of that right foot. It's finding a little opening and stretch into the right leg. Doesn't have to be straight. And then maybe the right fingertips reach away so we're in a twist. See if you can unravel and rock back. Hook the left leg over, find the twist. And then lengthening the left leg, bring the right hand to the outside of the left foot. And then maybe the left hand reaches out behind and you're in your twist here. Unravel, rock back. <laughs> And then we'll come it to this once more on each side and maybe as you come back up this time, you could come straight into this lengthened leg option. So my left hand's caught the outside of my right foot. And then see if you can switch it over to the other side. So right leg comes down, left leg's lifted, twisting here. No worries if you're kind of doing your own thing. We'll rock back and this time bring yourself through and we're gonna find an all fours position on the mat. So be playful, have some fun with it. It doesn't matter if the kind of leg hand combination turned out a little bit differently from what I'd suggested. That's okay, that's all part of the practice. So from all fours, we're gonna inhale, shine the heart forwards. So finding some cat and cow, exhale round the spine. So start to float between some cat and cow movements. Seeing how it feels to work into the side body as well here. So imagining that you're in a big bubble, trying to touch each part of the bubble. So the back of the body lifts to the top. Maybe the belly's drawing towards the bottom of the bubble and then maybe the sides are trying to meet as well. So rolling the body around, seeing if you can really move into all these different parts and connect up with the sensations in the different areas. Lovely. On your next exhale, slide the hips down towards the heels. With your next breath, round the spine and shift forwards. Then lower the chest down to the mat. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, find a cobra. Exhale, chest comes back down. And then can you slide your way back to a child's pose? So we're rounding forwards. As the shoulders come roughly above the wrists, lower down. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, peel away for cobra. Exhale, soften down to the mat. Press the hands into the ground, shift back to child's pose. And again, rounding forwards. You can go with your own breath here. You can adapt this in any way that you need to. Finding your cobra or your up dog. And this time as you press your hand into the ground as you come back, maybe as you lift back, you could find your way onto the forearms and then hips come down towards the heels. And the last one, any variation, any version that feels good for you. Again, you could make this, keep it fluid or you could slow it down. Maybe finding the forearms as you come back. No worries if that's not for you today. And finding a meeting in a child's pose when you're ready, forehead to the ground or to meet with a block or your hands, close the eyes or soften the gaze. It's 
Take a moment to breathe and be here. Imagine being here with everything. Every layer of your being, everything going on within you, outside of you. Just being present with it. Not trying to change, not trying to do anything. Being with it, with everything. And we'll open the eyes back up, come back to all fours. Reach your right leg out behind and then sweep the right leg out to the side. Options are toes could be tracing the ground instead here. And then bring that right leg all the way to the top of the mat. Find lizard. Shine the heart forwards. See how it feels to come down to the forearms here. Take a little bit of movement. Could be a gentle rock or sway from side to side. Moving into the hip space. Then can you bring your right hand to the right thigh and send the gaze up towards the ceiling, finding an opening. Right shoulders rolling open. And then ground both hands back down to the mat. Either slide the toes or maybe, maybe the right leg lifts and sweeps all the way back around out behind and comes in, well done. We'll take that onto the other side. So left leg reaches out behind, sweeps out to the side, all the way to the outside of the hands, find lizard. Come down onto the forearms if that feels right for you. If not, hands are staying on the ground or could be on blocks. See if you can find some movement. Notice this left foot, see if you can redistribute the weight here into the outside edge and then maybe a little bit more into the inside. Notice what you notice. Notice how this affects the rest of the body. Can you bring that left hand to the left thigh and find a little opening and a twist, a sense of the left shoulder rolling, open gaze comes up to the ceiling. Either stillness or any small movements, welcome. And then plant both hands firmly back down on the ground. Either slide the left foot or see if you can lift. Sweep the leg back. Coming out as you came in and then back to all fours. Well done. Tuck the toes under. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a pedal out here through the feet, the legs, any movements you want to take. First downward facing dog of the practice. Could feel good to have some movement in the head and the neck. So you could imagine that with the crown of your head, you're tracing a little figure eight on the ground underneath. And just noticing how that feels, any little pops, any areas of tightness or resistance, becoming aware. And then coming back to some stillness in your downward facing dog. Inhale, look between the hands, step or float your feet in, lift the chest, lengthen the spine, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forwards, flow between these two for a couple of breaths as you inhale, sense of lifting, exhale, melting back down, inhale, lifting, exhale, melting. Last one, inhale, lift. Exhale, bring your hands down to meet the ground. And step, float, jump back. To find a plank or meet in a plank position. And we'll flow through your version of Chaturanga. So inhaling, upward dog or cobra. And exhaling back to downward facing dog. From here, inhale, sweep your right leg up, find three leg dog. Exhale, draw the right knee to the right elbow. Take it across to the left elbow. And then back to your three leg dog. Start to shift your shoulders above the wrists. As you do so, this right leg can start to come down. And then grounding into the right hand, open into right side Vashistasana, side plank position. 
either working here or you're going to bend this top left leg maybe finding this kind of tree tree position here and then this left foot's going to come over in front and meet the ground left legs bent adjust in any way that you need to and then lower the hips down and as you do roll onto your bottom and find this position that we came to at the beginning of the class so from here the left leg is stepped over the right and we're going to continue moving around it to the left find that twist right arm catches the left leg unravel and start to spin your way over to the right and so we're spinning back to where we started right hand meets the ground press the feet into the ground lift the hips so we're back in Vashistasana and then keep on going as both hands come down to the mat and we're in this kind of folded position with the left leg at the front start to move here backwards and forwards you can adjust this front leg in any way so you could step it a little bit further forwards if that feels good too. And then seeing, seeing what happens when you bring the weight into the front foot and then the back, finding some juicy kind of movement and opening into maybe the back of the left leg. And then we'll bring the weight back into your front foot, lift the back leg hands into heart center or they could be placed on blocks fine vibrasana three breathing here find your drishti your focus as you inhale start to lift the chest and we're going to sweep this right foot through seeing if you can do do it without it touching the ground it doesn't matter if it does if it does right knee comes in towards the chest embrace the wobbles from here, we're going to reach the left fingertips forwards and then reach your right fingertips back. Find a twist. Follow with the gaze. Inhale. Start to reach both fingertips up to the ceiling as you come away from your twist. Bring the hands through to heart center and as you do so, sweep the right leg back and take a really big step back to a lunge. Inhale, fingertips flow up, lift up and out from the waist. And then as you exhale, right fingertips reach forward, left come back, find your twist. Inhale, reach fingertips back up as you come away. And then exhale, hands meet the ground, step it back to plank, flow through your vinyasa, any version that you want to take. Inhaling upward dog or cobra and exhaling back to downward facing dog guide so we've got left leg lifting up find three leg dog exhale knee to left elbow take it over to the right elbow and then sweep the left leg back to three leg dog look between the hands shift the shoulders forward and then we're finding left side vashistasana option to bend the right leg and find a kind of tree position here the right foot then steps over to the front over the top of the left leg and the right foot meets the ground so we're in this supported vashi position and then bring your lower your hips down and roll so that you're in your seated position with the right leg crossed over keep rotating round to the right hugging the right knee then think about spiraling backwards now so we're spiraling around to the left left hand meets the ground press that right foot into the ground lift the hips and then keep that spiral going as both hands now meet the ground and we're in this position you might want to step that right foot forwards a little bit see how it feels and take a couple of rocks backwards and forwards maybe feeling into the back of that right leg moving here next time you bring your weight forwards into the right foot lift the back left leg see if you can lift the chest hands heart center find the brassner three breathing embracing the wobbles 
and then start to lift your chest to the chest. Take an inhale here, right fingertips reach forwards, left fingertips reach back, find your twist. Inhale, reach both fingertips up as you rotate away from your twist. Hands come through to heart center, sweep the left leg back. Take a big, slow, if you can, step back, find a lunge. Inhale, arms reach up, create space. Exhale, left fingertips come forwards, right fingertips reach back, find your twist. Inhale, arms reach back up, coming away from your twist. Exhale, hands float down, and this time option for a little kick up to handstand. This time as the arms come down, option, it's in your practice to either take a standing split or maybe you're taking a little kick or maybe you're taking a little kick or a couple of playtime kicks up to your handstand. Coming away from whichever version you might have come to, come back to plank, flow through your chaturanga, inhaling up with dog or cobra, and exhaling back to downward facing dog. Take a moment to breathe here, reconnect. Option to breathe in through the nose and breathe it out through the mouth, <sighs> taking a big Releasing breath, a big sigh out. And then from here, we're going to shift the shoulders forwards. Find your way back to your right side, Vashistasana. And bring this left leg and step it straight out in front. Lower the hips down and rotate. Coming all the way round to the left, finding your twist. We're going to take this left hand back to the outside of Sorry, right hand's gonna come to the outside of the left foot. Maybe the left fingertips reach back and you're in that twisted position. Now option to either stay here or maybe, just maybe, the right leg starts to lift and we're in a little twisted vashi, no, twisted navasana boat pose here. <laughs> so then start to release from your boat pose, let the leg and the foot come back down to meet the ground, rotate around to the right. I said we were getting twisty in this flow and we certainly are. So come back around, rotate around to bring both hands down to meet the mat and take a big step back to downward facing dog, well done. So take it to the other side, inhale, shift the shoulders forwards, left side Vashistasana. Step this right foot in front to bring it to the ground. Lower the hips down and rotate into your twist to the right. Either staying here or the left hand's gonna catch the outside of the right foot. Maybe the right fingertips can reach back. Maybe the left leg starts to lift. So you're in this kind of version of Twisted Navasana boat pose. Breathing here. Lovely, start to release and unravel. So coming around to the left, coming out as we came in, hips lift, keep spinning all the way around and then come to meet back in your downward facing dog, well done. Option here for either a couple of breaths in downward dog, you can take a child's pose or you can take any final transitions that you want to take. You could be taking an inversion here. So options are pincher, some little hops to handstand or headstand. So a couple of breaths for you. Wherever you want to be. Option for a final Final vinyasa, if that's in your practice, 
If you want to take another vinyasa, you might be quite happy with the child's pose at this point. And then everybody meeting back in a downward facing dog. Drop your knees to the ground. Exhale, sit your hips down towards your heels and take a child's pose. Close the eyes or soften your gaze. Feel the natural rhythm of your breath. Feel your body and where it meets the ground. Seeing if you can return back to that sense of being with everything inside, outside. Connect with how you're feeling, how your body feels, how you feel. Be with everything. Give the weight of your body to the ground. Let the ground receive you. And start to slowly walk the hands in towards you coming away from your child's pose back to any pos any seated position that you'd like to take on your mat and to close down the practice just bring the fingertips or the hands to meet the ground to honor being in this present moment gratitude for showing up on your mat today doing this practice Hopefully feeling a sense of reconnection. And coming back into the physical body when you're ready. Opening the eyes as you come back into your space. Namaste. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that has left you feeling nicely twisted, stretched, strengthened and reconnected today. Please do comment, feedback to me on how you've got on and how you found that flow, how you found the transitions. Um, I always love hearing from you and um, please do subscribe to this channel. It's completely free or give it a thumbs up if you liked this flow and I cannot wait to see you again for another flow very soon. Take care.